There we go. Okay, cool. Let's have some fun. You ready? People will join as we go. They'll get used to this time every Saturday. It will grow and grow and grow and grow. So um, let me tell you my purpose. Um, you know, I, I like doing this because I want to help you build, um, you know, build your business and grow your business. And um, um, I, I spend time in, in putting some things down, kind of like producing a radio show. When I had my radio show, uh, I used to spend a lot of time, uh, you know, putting it together and producing it. And I feel the same way here. So I want to provide as much, uh, as much value for you as possible uh, so you can really – uh, so listen, if you walk away here today with uh, just a little tidbit of something that can help you grow your business, fabulous. So I've got, I've got an agenda. I've got some great stuff to go through. Hold on, guys. I want to try one other thing. Just bear with me. Let me put this over here. That's better. Okay, great. So I've got a, I've got a cool agenda. I've got some great stuff to go through. And, uh, you know, I always thought that, you know, one of the things that's important is that, you know, what's going to happen on this training call is that we're going to get new people, right? There'll be new people. Uh, you know, Sandy, you'll bring on new people and we'll bring on new people. I'll bring on new people. People will get into the habit of coming on and so on. So it's important that, um, <laughs> that we understand that because there's new people, we've got to, we've got to attend to them for a few minutes, right? Because I can go through so many things, but one of the things that we want to share with them is, okay, how do we do this business, right? What, what do we do? And uh, so I, you know, what I'll do at the beginning part, at the beginning part of the Saturday call is to kind of give a brief overview of what the new person needs to do to help them build their business. And then what I'll do is I'll go into other things uh, to help all of us, you know, build our business. I love hearing it because I get to hear it over and over again, which just goes deeper into my brain, which is pretty cool, right? So for the new people, let's just um, start there for a second. For the new people, we have a, um, a system of education. And uh, we need to understand that. That's important. There's a, a particular system of education here, uh, the way we build our business. So for the new people that are beginning, you know, um, here's the bottom line. And I won't, you've got to bring that self-motivation to the table. You know, it starts with some desire. Uh, if you've got that self-motivation, I, I suggest you go do something else. Uh, because there's no other business that needs massive self-motivation than this, especially being a home-based business. You've got to be able to bring that to the table. So that's number one. Number two, I'll make this simple. It's very easy. You go out and you build your list. Don't prejudge anybody. Get your list to over 200 people. It's important. We don't need equity to start this business, but our equity comes from when our inventory is grandiose. When our inventory is very, very large, right? When our inventory is large, hold on guys one second. When our inventory is large, that's when we've got a more of an opportunity to bring a lot of people on in a relatively shorter period of time. So, Build your list, number one. Number two, learn how to invite people to just take a look. That's really our business. If people could realize that and understand that, that we want to get people, and I'm going to go into something in a bit that's really going to help everybody out, so just bear with me on this. We want to learn how to speak. I think one of the biggest challenges in this business is people – they get all just be genuine. Hey, John, you know, uh, I, I'd like to share something with you, something that I'm excited about, um, you know, something that I'm a part of. Uh, I, it doesn't matter to me if you become a part of this or not, uh, but I don't want you to come to me in 15 months or 16 months or 20 months and say, Hey, Bob, you're driving a new Bentley. What the hell's going on? <laughs> you know, <laughs> what, what, what's going on? So, um, so, uh, you know, I want you to, um, uh, you know, I'd like you to take a look at something. And then, you know, especially in this business, in this business here, um, you know, here's what I do. This is what I do every day, every day. Hey, John, what do you know about cryptocurrency? 
right? What do you, and then I go through my thing and I talk to him about the six disruptions in cryptocurrencies, the second. What do you know about Bitcoin? Tell a little story about Bitcoin. Hey, John, if there's a genuine interest in capitalize on something like you didn't capitalize on um, on um, on Bitcoin, uh, if I sent you something, you take a look at it. And then step two for the new people is to get them to look at a video. We use our 16 minute video. It's in the cryptocurrency economic group. You can take a look at that. And then number three is to collect a decision whether we, you know, whether we do a three way call uh, with our sponsor. That is critical. And um, you know, I did say last week, I'm just thinking everyone, I did say last week that I would go into three-way calls in depth. I might have to do that next week. Let me just write a note here um, because there is a science to that. And those who master that, uh, uh, it's just very, very, uh, it's an important part of the business. And then after the three-way call, then I would, uh, you know, listen, whether it's an in-home or bringing people to, uh, you know, to our Zoom cast, which we have seven a week with Tom, uh, is just fabulous. And my results are great, you know, just driving traffic to that. So it's really, you know, one, two, three, rinse and repeat. And that last part is just teach it over again. Very simple. Let's not complicate that. It's really simple. But let me go back. I want to I wanna go into something that actually, you know, I'm always learning. And I listened to Alan the other night, Delaney, and he did a great, uh, he really did a great webinar with Joby. And it made me think about something that he said. And I want to share something with you. And I hope you have your, pad, your pa pads and uh uh, something to write with. I want you to write this down. There's a way and probably one of the most important things, and John, by the way, relevant to your little story, you have a story. You have a story. We all have stories. But how do we impart our story? And when you strike interest with someone, correct, you could share your story. But your story has four components to it. Four components. Okay, you ready? Here we go. So, you know, I, I, I'll go into my background a little bit. And, uh, you know, you guys, when you talk to people, you can go into other people's, you know, you could, when you're talking to your prospect, you go into your background. So you want to share your background a little bit. This is what I've been doing for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, whatever it is. Your background, that's number one. Now, this part is very important. This is the most important part of the four pieces of your story. What you didn't like. What you didn't like. That's very important. And I'm going to put this together. And then number three, the solution. You found a solution, right? You want to heal that. So as you're speaking, I want you to think about this for a minute. As you're speaking, as you're imparting your story, my background, what I didn't like, the prospect is sitting there listening and most probably he or she is aligning with you. They're, wow, I don't like this. Number three is the solution. And number four is how you feel about the future. So it might go something like this. Hey, Marian, you know, let me tell you a little bit about my background. I've spent, uh, in 1989, I sold a business. I got involved in the direct selling industry, spent three years there. Uh, it was absolutely awesome. And then I made, a, I made another decision. Maybe I shouldn't have left, but I did. I went into the financial world. I spent 22 years there. Um, I had a great run. Uh, I'm an author. I've spent, uh, you know, quite a number of times on ABC News and Eyewitness News. Uh, had my own radio show for years. Had the pleasure of interviewing Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, I franchised my business. I really had a great run. But it got to the point where, you know what, I wasn't spending quality time with my family. Uh, I wasn't traveling as much as I wanted to. I wasn't increasing my net worth uh, the way I expected to. You know, certain things happened in 2008 and so on and so forth. Uh, you know, so um, I had a fantastic run. 
And then not too long ago, I came across something um, that kind of blew my mind. And the magnitude of it is, is just absolutely incredible. And I took a hard look at it and I said, if I don't do this, I'm going to regret it. And now I look at where I'm at right now and I look at what's going to happen in my life over the next 12, 24, uh, you know, 30, you know, 36 months. I just want to make sure everybody's, uh, hold on guys. One second. Uh, you, okay. Um, so, and when I look at, you know, when I look at my life, when I look at my life, I am, um, I'm excited. I mean, I just can't, uh, you know, I, 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 I look at it and say, oh my goodness, I've got all these new goals and so on and so forth. So let's go out of role play for a second. I told my friend, my prospect, my background. I told them what I didn't like. And at that point, they're aligning with me. I gave them a solution to my, my challenge. I found a solution. This is what I'm doing now. I found something very, very exciting. And now how do I feel about it, right? And then from there, if, I'm, you know, if I wanna send something to someone, I could do that. I could send something to someone. Or if I'm sitting down with them. Now, let me take a, I wanna stop here for a second. Folks, I, you know, I want to say this the right way. Uh, you know, sometimes I could, sometimes you might get that New York out of me, uh, you know, but I'm, I'm going to be very direct with everybody. You got to get your game down. You have to get your game down. And I've come to the realization that one of the best things anybody could master and maybe not even master, but become good at it, become good at it is the art of communication, is to be able to communicate with another individual, is to be able to persuade another individual ethically, ethically. There's no better skill. There's no better art in the world. Good morning, Margie. Um, it's, just, it's just priceless. It really is. And, you know, I've committed, I've committed my, uh, you know, my career to doing that. And um, I think it's one of the best skills I've ever developed. So after I share my background with someone, it might, you know, it might go like this. If I'm, if I'm sharing a video with them, great. Okay, here, if I sent this to you, would you take a look at it? If I'm sitting down with them, having a cup of coffee at my favorite office, which is Starbucks, I think they're going to start charging me rent soon. You know, it's just unbelievable. But it might sound something like this. I want to give you little tidbits because here's the way my brain works. And maybe I could share this with you that could make it easier for you. Okay, is that fair? Raise your hands. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. So, hold on one second, guys. I want to, maybe this might work too. So, hold on one second. I lost everybody. Uh, okay. So, the other thing is, um, no, one second, guys, bear with me. Okay, so the other thing too is I want you to, what I, the way I do this is I like to put little chapters into little compartments and that's the way my brain works. That's the way my brain works. And maybe this will help you in speaking to your prospect. Now for the new person, for the new person, this might be a little more advanced. This might be a little more advanced training. For the new person, Hey, and for all of us, we always want to use a tool. I use tools every day. Every day I use tools. The tools are videos. The tools are the Zoomcast. The tools are the three-way calls, right? Those tools we want to use every day. But we want to realize also that we want to engage the, you know, the prospect. And sometimes people are, they don't know what to say. So let me kind of go through this. And I thought about this last night. Gerald and I went to the movies. By the way, we saw this great movie last night. Let me share it with you. Uh, uh, um, I'm trying to remember. It was Mrs. Sloan. I think uh, Miss, Miss Sloan. Oh, my goodness. What a great movie it was. It was fabulous. Uh, I knew We needed a break. We've been working so hard. And uh, it was just great to be out together. But anyway, okay. So 
if I've got, uh, you know, if I've got Margie on the phone, you know, I'll tell a little bit about my background or whatever. Um, and then I'll say, uh, you know, a very simple, what do you know about cryptocurrency and so on and so forth. And then I'll segue and then I'll segue and it will go something like this. Hey, Margie, you know, we've seen, we've seen six disruptions in our life. We've seen the internet. We've seen TV. We've seen email, cell phone, social media, e-commerce. They've changed our lives. Blockbuster never saw Netflix coming, right? But the only industry, Marge, that has not been disrupted is banking and finance. It's never been disrupted. Let me give you an example. My brother lives in Brazil. I want to send him money. Now, by the way, guys, this is being recorded, okay? So you can, I'll post it later on YouTube, and we'll post it in the economic. And I want you to get this down. I want you to get to the point where you're here, where you're at another level, and people are listening to you, and you're captivating them, okay? You're captivating them. If you're new and you don't want to get to this point for it, tell story, send them to the 16-minute video. That's fine. So let's go back. So, Marsh, let me give you an example. My brother lives in Brazil. I want to send him money. I've got to uh, go to, uh, I've got to go to MoneyGram, uh, I've got to go to Western Union, PayPal, and I've got to, uh, you know, send, a, uh, I've got to pay fees, it's going to take a few days to get there, I could throw an anvil to China and get the money there quicker. In today's technological world, it's, it's antiquated, it's ridiculous. Let me give you another example. We go out to dinner. There are five, and we're going to go pay the bill with a Visa card, a MasterCard, there are five, maybe seven middlemen in between. Uh, the acquiring bank, the processing bank, the processor, uh, the salesman that collects the little thing that set them up, all something. It increases the cost of the dinner and costs the American people $250 billion extra a year. It is antiquated. Bill Gates just put $400 million into cryptocurrency because he's all about the unbanked people in the world. And Richard Branson just bought a plane and he saved $15 million in fees. Marge, cryptocurrency is the second, is the seventh disruptor in the world that will change our global economy, and you're knowing about it before the rest of the world. Listen to the passion in my voice. Listen to the intensity in my voice. In fact, Marge, I don't know if you're familiar, but let me tell you how it started. Uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin came out, which is a form of cryptocurrency. January 3rd, 2009, this, this individual, we don't know who he is, we think we know his real name, but Satoshi Nakamoto submitted the seven-page white paper to the internet. And all of a sudden, some people said it was a scam and this, but all of these geeky, libertarians, anti-corporate, anti-government people, they absolutely loved it. It went from a cent up to $1,223, bang. And people that put in $1,000 walked away with, Eight million people that put away put in ten grand walked away with one hundred sixty million. And the best story is the guy who bought the pizza with ten thousand bitcoins and figured out that pizza cost him about seven million dollars. I don't know, Marge, if you profited from that, but there's a second opportunity. And about two years ago, this company was formed by this brilliant woman. Brilliant. I never give the name. I never give the name. I want to be able to send them something so they don't start Googling right away. Everybody get that? I never do that. Never give the name. So two years ago, March, this brilliant woman, Oxford Law Degree grad, said, whoa, first of all, nobody is educated on cryptocurrency. Secondly, 99.9% .9 of all the cryptocurrencies in the world are traded every day. They're traded every day. I want to develop a worldwide usable cryptocurrency. And third, I'm going to do a crowdfund. I'm going to do an invitation. I tell Marge, Marge tells Cynthia, Cynthia tells Ann, Ann tells John, John tells Gerilyn, Ann, blah, 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 blah. And Marge, within one year, or what took Bitcoin eight years to do, they did in a year. One year. The only company that grew quicker than them, they did a billion dollars in one year with Groupon. And there's a couple of ways to play this game to make a bloody fortune. And what she did, she says, I want to educate people and develop the platform of education. 
fact, Marge, I kind of think she's going to win the Nobel Prize, personally. I really do. So if you're open to take a look at something that has the magnitude to change your life, listen to the words I'm using. Just listen to the words I'm using. If you're open, no one ever said no to me. No one ever said no. If you're open to look at something that has the magnitude to change your life over the next year, two, three years, a company that is poised to be bigger than Visa and MasterCard, if I sent you something, would you take a look at it within the next few hours? Now, notice what I said. If I sent you something, would you take a look at it within the next few hours? Not two days, not three days. Sense of urgency. Sense of urgency. And if they say I can't tonight, okay, I get that. That's fine. That's okay. But I want to create that sense of urgency. And again, no one has ever said to me no. Now, here's the other thing I tee up. I tee this up. Marge, I just need to share something with you so you get this part. I don't know if you're familiar with Alexa.org, but Alexa.org is an Amazon company, and they rate websites around the world. If you put in your website, you will see what the ranking is. Well, when you put in this particular company's website, they're ranked 5,500 out of hundreds of millions in the world. They get almost 10 million hits a month. And all of these little Billy bloggers, these geeky bloggers, that make a little bit because they attach their negative crap to the traffic that is driven. So I'm gonna give you stuff to do due diligence, not search. Search to me is, I'd rather send you the National Enquirer in the mail and you could read that for the night. Fair enough? And by the way, that little ending, fair enough is what? It demands a yes or a no. That's all it does. It demands a yes or a no. And that's it, you know? That would take me probably about, I don't know, five, eight minutes to do. Everyone says yes, very rarely. Actually, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a guy yesterday, and uh, I, in fact, he says, I could just hear it. He was just, um, as we say in Italian, he was just mushad. He was just, and I, I was ripping up his card. So I right, said, I, I wouldn't even send it, you know? Uh, so, uh, but that's, that, I could do that all day long, all day long, over and over and over and over. And that's kind of my little thing, right? So I'll share my little story. My story. You know, or, or, you know, and my story for all intent and purposes is when I sit down with them, when I sit down with them, I've got, so what I do is I put things in compartments. Okay. The six disruptors, right? I talked about that next compartment, little story about Bitcoin, right? Little story talked about that, right? Then after the Bitcoin compartment, then I take them to this other company compartment, right? The disruptors, I give them an example right, of the seventh disruption, the Bitcoin compartment, then I talk about this company that was started two years ago, correct? Boom, done. Boom, boom, boom. And this is the stuff I want you to start to get down so you could speak eloquently, so you could speak like, wow, she's unbelievable. Oh, this guy, John, is unreal, blah, blah, blah. So does that make sense, everybody? Okay, so let me actually, Miriam, hold on. Wait one second. I can't. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to unmute for a second, everybody. Just sit tight. Don't all talk at once. Okay, so everybody is unmuted. No? Unmute. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let me ask this. Let me just throw this out to everybody. You're all, you're all unmuted for, for a few minutes, and then I want to get back into, uh, into some other great stuff. Right. Have any thoughts? Anybody want to share anything? Uh, I think it's a great concept it's a video, and I looked at it uh, from one YouTube video this week about cryptocurrency and 
That's my, uh, that is my, uh, that is my, uh, my uh, oldest son, Xavier. So everyone say hi, Xavier. <laughs> Thank you, Xavier. Thank you, Xavier. Appreciate that. But I agree with you. Go ahead, Miriam. Um, I, I love the fact that what we really, what you just trained us for is keep it simple, all those basic rules. And the more we do exactly the steps that you have just, and I'm going to listen and make notes so it, 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 it becomes part of me. And the more we practice and do this, the easier it'll get to approach just about anybody. And that's the key, right? Feel comfortable, confident, and just repeat more than two a day or a minimum of two a day. It's the simplicity because the more we, I like the fact that you said, don't even mention the company. Because I, I do personally have a, a bad habit of saying too much by excitement. So that, those steps are wonderful. And um, we just have to practice. So thank you very, very You're much. Welcome, Miriam. And you know what, Miriam? It, uh, you know, you'll get to the point, <laughs> and everyone follow me here. You'll get to the point where you'll, <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like when I'm in front of someone, I'll turn to someone and say, okay, can I press play? And <laughs> you'll just go. And what you become, Miriam, is you become a conscious competent. Yeah. You become a conscious competent where you don't need to think anymore. It just goes. And you're, you're right on how that happens is it happens with repetition. Repetition is the mother of skill. We need to realize this. This is no different than when I was in the financial world, the insurance world. It's no different than real estate. It's the same thing. Or riding a bike or, or riding, riding a, a car. Oh, riding a bike. Let's talk about that, Miriam. So when we rode a bike, we rode a bike, we were with mom or dad, and what happened? We fell. But what did we do? Kept going. And we got back up and we went again and we fell. Boom. And we got back up and we went again. That's this business. Yeah. Didn't That's give up. Business. That's Didn't what it is. Up. Yeah. That's the epitome of this business. It's like <laughs> riding a bike. Yeah. Repetition is the mother of skill. Not only this, but for our subconscious as well. And Miriam, you mentioned a word. I'm not going to bring it up right now. I'm going to talk about it at the end. We've got about another 30 minutes to go. I've got a lot of other stuff I want to share with everybody, right? <laughs> but, you know, when you, get, when you get to a point where you're a conscious competent and you're able to speak to someone in a way, it's just, it, it, it makes all the difference. You know, I've got the, you know, I, I'm very blessed and I'm, uh, you know, I was about to say the word lucky. I can't believe my brain was going there. I'm blessed because, you know, I, I've taken the time over the years to work on my skills. And uh, some of these people that I am put on the phone with, it, they're at such a high level. And I love that. I just, I just, I eat it up. <laughs> I just love it and, and, you know, eat it up or whatever, but it's great. So, Miriam, I appreciate that. But, Miriam, you mentioned a word, which I'm going to get into after. I'm not going to tell you what the word was, okay? Because I think, it's probably, I think this word that you mentioned uh, is probably the, 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 the big picture, and I'll tell you about that in a second. Does anybody, would anybody else, uh, and Xavier, thank you, son. I love you very much, and uh, 
Uh, everybody, uh, hopefully you'll get to uh, meet Xavier. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a great young man. Would anybody like to share? Bob, Just, buddy? Ahead, who's, who's that? This is Steve. Hey, Steve. Yeah, there's one, there's one thing for sure. Everybody wants to make more money. <laughs> Would you agree? No. Why don't they want to hear our message? Uh, no. It's because you're delivering it incorrectly. Yeah, it's what you say and what you do. That's correct. Okay, and that's why you have to learn what you're teaching. It's the skills to not get into, because it's the subconscious that's telling us, well, it's a, it's, it's a scam or it's a salesperson or, or whatever it is that turns us off. So we need to learn, to learn the verbiage that doesn't turn us off subconsciously. Now, Steve, let me let, let me kind of add to what you just said. I probably left out a little part there when I was going through this. And one of the things when I'm in the when I'm in the one coin uh, compartment or chapter and I'm imparting, right? And I'm going and I'm in my game, right? And one of the things I like to talk about that I like to throw in is I might tell a story. I might tell a story about, hey, you know, I'm working with this individual right now. You know, they're earning over a hundred thousand a month. They earn, they own a hundred, they own five hundred thousand coins. By the way, the price of our coin right now is eight dollars and thirty three cents. Um, and you know, we we will go public in fifteen months. And once we go public, it'll be open to the world on the public exchange. And the world then has to buy the coins from us in the community. Well, five hundred thousand coins were anticipated to be at twenty, twenty five, thirty dollars a coin, whatever it is. Do the math. And that all of a sudden, whoa, you know, think about the person on the other end, right? Wow. There's, so, you know, I tell them, Steve, that there's a couple of ways to play the game. But let me send you something first. Take a look at it. Let's, uh, let's talk tomorrow, 3 o'clock, whatever. But it's, uh, yeah, you know, you're right, Steve. You've got to, you, you just got to get it down. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Anybody you know, like to hear a story? Steve, you know what? There are 17 people listening right now. Mm -hmm. There should be a lot more. Those of you that are listening right now, you want to earn the money. And you know what? It's, uh, uh, there, there are people that could be on this right now. But listen, you've got to be willing to increase your skills. You've got to be willing to learn. Knowledge is power, but you need action too. We need the action, you know? So, um, um, but anyway, I agree. Does anybody else, would anybody else like to share any other questions? before I continue pressing. Hey, Bobby, it's Margie. Hey, Marge. Hey, um, so I just wanted to say thank you for sharing everything that you did because what everything you said is almost precisely what I do. There you go. <laughs> so I got some nice validation there. And I just want to remind, you know, the, the newbies that are on that um, this is kind of more for advanced, as you said earlier, and that, um, you know, when, when, when you're first coming on to attempt to try to do this sort of, compartmentalizing and and you know the different chapters and things like that can be a little overwhelming and I know it was for me in the beginning yeah. um, so definitely utilize the tools and and that that are there you know as far as the sizzle call and the video and everything and then and then uh, as you uh, learn you know then you can go out and try it on your own but um, it's great when you when you're finally able to get to that place and you can sit down with somebody and you can lay out that whole feel and it just comes out naturally. There's no fluff. There's no hype. There's no anything. There's just passion, excitement, and and like, oh my God, you got to do this. You know, you got to try this out. You got to check it out. You got to at least look at it. Um, and people really feed on that, and they they get that sense of like, wow, if I don't do this, I'm going to miss out on something. I better at least look at it. Right. Um, and Marge, again, Marge, it's uh, you know, again, it's it's no different than if you and I entered into the real estate world, right? Our learning curve is going to be 30 days, 60 days, six months, right. whatever it is. And we can shorten the learning curve by making, by making a commitment to learn. Um, you know, the sun is blazing in my office right now, as you can see. Um, but it's just a learning curve, you know, and it took me, it, it took me probably a good 30 days, 45 days uh, you know, I, I'm a speaker. I, I like speaking. I've spoke. You know, I, I I'm I publicly I've been publicly speaking probably my whole career. So it just cut, it came easier for me. So the only thing I had to learn, Marge, I had to get down the info. 
That was it. I just had to get down the info. Okay, what goes in this compartment? What goes here? What goes here? What goes here? And then I needed to just put it together. And boom, once that happened, press play, go, you know? And, um, and the way that we get that information is by being plugged in, coming to these seminars and webinars, coming to calls, listening to everything you can, watching videos. I think I spent, you know, like two weeks just soaking in as many different videos as I could on YouTube. Not just one coin, one life network stuff, but anything, you know, Andreas Antonopoulos, you know, like to learn about the industry as much as possible. That's really important too. That Mar you know what guys, I want to just add what Margie just said because she just hit she just hit it on the on the on the head. And Marge, the, the first thing I did, the first thing I did, um, I'm very auditory. So I need to hear it. I read, but I'm also very auditory. And uh, the first thing I did, I went on to Amazon.com and I bought the age of digital currency, uh, how it will change the global economy by uh, Paul Vig Vigner or whatever. And I bought the 12 audios and I listened to them probably three, four times. And a lot of the information that I got from there, I could put in little parts and share it with people to make me, you know, educated mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and sound really good. And that's what I did. In fact, uh, I just bought, uh, I just bought this book, uh, you know, so I'll start reading this book right now. <laughs> so I'm constantly learning. I want to, we could possibly, I'm being biased, guys, so just deal with me. You know, we could possibly rent out and be in Yankee Stadium one day, <laughs> you know. So, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, I might one day be, you know, I could be up there at 70 or 75 years of age. I don't want people to say, wow, you should have heard him in his 50s. He was really good. I don't want that. I want them to turn around and say, oh, my God. This guy is incredible. I want to constantly keep working on my gifts and working on my skills. So good point, Marge. Very, very good point. Okay, let's go on. I want to kind of go into a couple of other little things, okay? Um, I want to share this with you. I want to go into something else in a different direction for a minute. And thanks, Marge, uh, for that. And Miriam, thank you for that. And Xavier, I appreciate that. And Steve. Um, let's talk about goal setting. Uh, I also aligned with Alan the other night and I smiled while I listened to him and uh, he brought out some gun, uh, good stuff. So if you never listen to it, I want to kind of uh, go through what I do, which is very, very powerful. You know, uh, first of all, the bottom line, guys, if you're not writing down your goals, um, you're doing yourself and your business a disservice. Sorry. 3% of the people in the world have written down goals. Guess how many people in the world are wealthy? 3%. You think there's a correlation there. Guess how many people have a library card in the world? 3%. Oh, okay, let's keep going on. So, you know, there's, uh, there's a fabulous book that I read uh, not too long ago, and it's called uh, The One Thing by Gary Keller. It's probably one of the best books on business and, and productivity that I've read. Fabulous book, fabulous book. So one of the challenges that I've always had is I'm a big thinker. I mean, it's, you know, it's crazy. I'm a big thinker. And sometimes when you look at the big goal, it's kind of difficult. So let me give you a little, let me tell you a little story. Um, when I went into the financial services and insurance business uh, back in December of 1992, right? So I, uh, I'll never forget, I, I went to my sales manager, Sam Olshan, never forget this. And I said, Sam, you know, I want to set some goals. What is the, now I knew what I wanted to make my first year. I knew what I wanted to make, right? Which I'll share with you how I did this. And there's a big message here. So please capture this. I said to him, what's the average person make their first year? He said, you know, 35, 40, 45, somewhere around there. I said, there is no way that, that, that I'm going to make that money. And this was 92, 93. I said, okay, my goal is to make $125,000 the first year. That's my goal, right? And uh, here's what I did. I didn't look at the 125. I didn't look at that. 
I broke it down to the ridiculous. My goal every day was to earn $500 every day. My goal was to earn $500 a day or $2,500 a week. And I, you know what? This struck me like a ton of bricks about a year or two ago and how brilliant this was. <laughs> so, so I said, okay, I want to earn $500 a day. I want to earn $2,500 a week. And you know what? When I accomplish that, I'm going to walk down the block. My office was on Fifth Avenue in the city. I'm going to walk down the block to Bergdorf Goodman, and I'm going to buy myself a bow tie. Because they, my nickname was Bobby Bowtie, right? That's what they call Because I felt if I went into a client with a bow tie, they think I'm just that much smarter. You know, guys that wore bow ties, they are that much more intelligent, right? So that's what I did. So, and I had two things. In, I, they put me in a cubicle, a little cubicle. I had two things in my cubicle. I had my vision boards. People looked at me like I was crazy. And then I had a sign that my brother or call made for me. And the sign said this. Great spirits have always encountered violent oppositions from mediocre minds. Albert Einstein. Okay, I had those two things. I went to work. My first year, I earned $136,000. Uh, 1,500 uh, new people entered that company that year. I ranked number one for three years in a row. I don't say this to brag or boast, maybe just a little bit. Uh, but the point is, is to, is, what I did is I broke it down to the ridiculous. I broke it down to the daily. I broke it down to the daily. So what I'm suggesting to you is, I want you to write, write this down if you would, please. We should all have a someday goal, a someday goal. I've got a someday goal for my family and me, a someday goal, right? And then I have a four-year goal or goals. And then I have a two-year goal. And then I have a one-year goal, six-month goal, 90-day goal, and then my daily goals. It's broken down to the read. What do I need to do? Because he here's the part, you know, here's the part that I think, well, you know, people think success shows up at your front door. It doesn't. Success comes to those who are persistent and consistent on a daily basis. Done deal close the door. That's it. So what do you need to do every day in your business in order to accomplish your 90-day goal? So right now we've got an intense 90-day goal to hit at the end of February, right? I'm, I'm going to hit it. Come hell or high water, I'm hitting it. And then I've got a six-month goal and a one-year goal, two-year, four-year, and a someday goal. Now, I, I'll never forget a few years ago, Gerald and I, we have another business, right? And we were at an event. And uh, this uh, guy by the name of Dan Jansen was, uh, was speaking. Dan Jansen, if you remember, was a speed skater. Gold uh, was an Olympian. And I think in 1988, if you remember, he fell in Lillehammer. But I remember him saying that, you know, when he was training, uh, his, his coach would say, stop, look, because they would run up a, up a mountain. And he would look up the top of the mountain. He would look. And the coach, don't look at the top of the mountain. Look in front of you. Look in front of you. And then he got, and then all of a sudden his times got better and better and better. So for years, I've always had a challenge. And my challenge was my big thinking, oh my goodness, you know, uh, how am I, if I would have looked at making a hundred, if I would have looked at 125,000 and got up there, no. Boom. I did my $500 a day, my $2,500. And, and hey, I'm walking down to Bergdorf Goodman. I got a new bow tie. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. And I rocked. So I want to challenge everybody for a minute. We know, you know, for all of us, our daily goals are kind of the same, aren't they? For the most part, I'm not adding in health that we need to exercise, we need to eat right and meditate. Forget about that. I'm talking about business to build our business right now. And for all intent and purposes, you know, we need we should be doing all the same thing, right? We should. So you've heard me talk about, you've heard me go like this, right? You've heard me go like this. You've heard me or you've seen me hold up my two fingers. Two per day will bring freedom your way. So I can't go to bed at night 
until I do a minimum of two per day. But, you know, I do this full time. So uh, my goal is much greater. My goal is 10 plus, even 20 some days. So I'd like to challenge everybody. Is anybody up for a challenge? Some people, you, some of you might not want to be, and that's okay. And if you want to do the challenge, you know, we could have some fun with this. Because when, 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 the, when the team works, the dreams work. When the team works, the dreams work. And my challenge over the next 10 days, so let's say we start Monday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. 10 days, okay? Is that for every day, everybody that wants to participate and just be a part of the challenge, we have to do 10 exposures a day. 10 a day. Because I'm going to tell you something. If you meet that challenge, you're going to see something that will happen. Because there's one thing that solves all the issues in this business. One thing. There's one thing that solves every issue in this business. Say it again, Miriam. Unmute yourself. Can't say it again. Action. What, there's, I'm looking for another word. Oh, Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> New blood. New blood. So yes, it's the Election. action, Miriam, but it's the new blood. When you've oh, got the, new a blood. new person, yes. when you've got two new people, three new people, right, right, four right. new people, oh my goodness, you say, wow, this is unbelievable. Stop going back to the old people that are skeptics. I do best with strangers. Listen, I I, I'm pretty, you know what, Miriam? Uh, you know, people on my team that are taking the time to be on this now, those are the people that I'll work with. I don't have time to play around. I'm on a mission. My wife and I, Geraldine, we are on a mission to accomplish our someday goal, but we have to do certain things on a daily basis. We work very hard. So we'll work with the willing. So we can't revive the dead, Marion. It doesn't, it just, I'll die. I know. <laughs> It's not good. So for those of you that want to participate in this challenge starting Monday, and you know what? Here's how we could do this. Keep it really simple. Everybody should be a part of the cryptocurrency economic group. You meet your 10 exposures, put it in. Hey, did my 10 exposures today. Bang, boom, bang, boom. That's all. Very simple. And I will tell you, you do 100 exposures in 10 days, in 10. Now, let me explain what an exposure is so everybody's clear. Is an, an exposure is if I say, Pete, uh, what do you know about cryptocurrency? What? Hey, Pete, what do you know about Bitcoin? Oh, yeah. And then I go into my dialogue, correct? And then he, I says, Pete, you know, I don't know if you're open, but if I shot you an email with some information, would you take a look at it? Sure. That's an exposure. He raised his hand. He raised his hand and he said, I'm willing to take a look. I'm willing to take a look. That's an exposure. I don't care whether he gets in or not. It's the activity. And we need to know that. It is the activity that solves it all. And it's being persistent and consistent on a daily basis. Until. Until. And then the other part that comes in is the balance. That balance. Okay, I just brought in Joe. Uh, you know, Joe Spolino uh, is, uh, uh, we work very close together. I brought in Joe probably about two weeks ago. Joe is unbelievable. He's just massive action. And now I've got to spend some of my time working with him, correct? I've got to have that balance a little bit because I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive that when I bring in people, new people, I need to work with them. I need to help them. And it's very simple. I said, Joe, create your list. Came back a day, got my list. Let's go. And we could talk more about that at another time. Okay. So again, getting back Break down your goals, someday goal, four-year goal, two-year goal, one-year goal, six-month goal, 90-day goal, daily goal. 
do this every day. Do this every day. And when it gets to a point where if, you know, let's say you're doing your two per day, maybe you want to go to three per day or four per day. But for now, if you want to be in that challenge, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I do my 10 per day, 12 per day, uh, sometimes nine per day, 13 per day, whatever. But I always balance out. It always averages out for me to about 10 per day, always. Um, you know, so, so understanding that methodology of goal setting is very powerful. And it will help you accomplish it that much greater. Okay. I like to keep this to an hour. Um, so I've got two more things I want to go to. Two more things. Marion, you mentioned a word earlier. I don't know if you, uh, if you know what that word is. You mentioned the word confidence. Confident. I'm sorry. Timing? No, you mentioned the word confidence. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The big C word, yes. That's, a, that's the deal. <laughs> uh, so true. That's the deal. You know, ladies, for those ladies on the, on the Zoom cast right now, I'm sure you like confident men, don't you? <laughs> you I know? like confident women, and well, I want to be confident. Same yeah. thing. You know, I can only go the other way. <laughs> you know but so let's talk about confidence for a second i uh i was fortunate that i spent 15 years in a uh, in a in a in an entrepreneurial uh, uh in an entrepreneurial coaching program in toronto where i would go for a day every 90 days for 15 years it was fabulous Ooh. and uh, my coach uh my coach dan sullivan would always teach us protect your confidence guys let me ask you something what do you feel like what does it feel like when you're very confident you're, cool. you're unstoppable aren't you steve you're unstoppable i mean literally unstoppable when you have a level of confidence but now you've got to say to yourself when i said to you protect your confidence what do you need to do on a daily basis to protect your confidence what do you need to do on a daily basis to protect your confidence do you need to exercise every day do you need to read your goals every day what do you need to do well relevant to this business I believe there's three things three simple things three things you need to have an understanding we talked about that early right right? That little repertoire compartments. You need to have an understanding, right? Miriam talked about her education and so on. So we have to have an, un when you have an understanding of this business, not only cryptocurrency, not only cryptocurrency, but about the direct selling and network marketing profession, when you have an understanding, you're confident. You're confident. Number one, Number two, when you have some good skills, good skills, good skills. By the way, I think probably one of the, what, one of the best books to read is this by Eric Worre, GoPro. It's a great book, okay? He put together a great book. It's dynamite. It's got seven skills in there. Understand the seven skills, how they work will increase your confidence. And then number three. I think is the game changer. I've made this a study over the last three, three, four years. It'll be four years in March that I've been studying this because to me it's fascinating. Um, your programming. Your programming. And a lot of us bring a lot of junk to the table. <laughs> you know, we bring a lot of junk to the table. And our pro we need to understand that our programming, our subconscious, really determines it all. It just is the, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. And when you could get an understanding of our business, you learn some skills, and you work on your programming, your programming right? Your subconscious and learn how that works. 
I'm going to give you a couple of tips in a second. I think it's game over for everybody. You get someone that makes 25000 a year, someone that makes a million dollars a year. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's their programming. That's all it is. It's their programming. It's nothing else. And then if they got their programming correct, that programming, once it's correct, the words, the programming, you're self-motivated, then you know that you've got to get some skills and some understandings. Watch out. Done. That's it. That's the deal. So let me, um, let me share with you this. Um, I've got some great books here I'm going to recommend because, you know, good, uh, good readers are good leaders. Okay, and that was told to me many years ago by Jim Rohn. I think he was talking to me. I'm pretty sure he was. Um, you know, I was fortunate to see him in, a, in an event many years ago. But uh, I want to share with you a couple of books that I'm reading right now. So I tend to read a lot of books at once. I don't know how I do that. It's kind of crazy. But uh, this is, to me, this is a game changer. This, I was very fortunate that, you know, I do a lot of videos. I haven't done as many videos that I used to do on my public Facebook page. All of my videos now are to us, right? But I used to do them all the time. And, um, you know, I would get people that would send me this and send me that. And I meet this guy in Canada. And um, he called me up. We talked about business and whatever. He said, Bob, I want to share a story with you. And he said, you know, years ago, I had uh, arranged for Bob Proctor to come into my town to uh, do an event. And once the event was great, once the event was over, I, you know, I drove him back to the airport and I asked him a question. And I said, w where do you guys go? You know, you, Dennis Waitley and Robbins and all, where do you guys go for ins inspiration and everything? He didn't answer him, he said. And then a couple of days ago, Tuesday, a book showed up to his door. And he read that book and that book changed his life. And he says, I probably read it 500 times. There's a copy in each room in the house with a journal next to it. He says, I've only told one other person I want to send one to you. Next day, I got the book. I read it about two times. In fact, I'm going to read it again. It's called Working with the Law. Working with the Law by Raymond Hollowell. Working with the Law by Raymond Hollowell. This book is i tore it up i mean it's just look at this when you believe in the probability of success in your undertaking you experience the keenest interest in your work when you charge when we charge our thoughts so firmly with the idea that there are no failures then we expect success our minds become strengthened with our conviction and like a magnet draws to us through the principle upheld whatever desire is utmost at the time to desire is to expect and to expect is to achieve i mean it's just i mean i just it's just i mean it's just <laughs> it's just unbelievable so that's a great book another fabulous book that i'm having that i that i just love is this the Magic of Believing by Claude Bristol. But you want to get the one with TNT. TNT, it rocks the earth. And I happen to go, I get all my books from Amazon, but I wanted to buy it so quick. So I went to Barnes and Noble, and not far from here. And I was able to pick up the one that has TNT in the back. And this is just, um, it's, this is an oldie but goodie. It really is. And then the last one I'll share with you that I was just sent to me by one of my coaches, actually, uh, Richard Brooke, I think I shared this with you, is, um, is Mach 2 with Your Hair on Fire uh, by Richard Bliss Brooke. So those are some great books to learn and educate yourself. Uh, just really, really dynamite. And I hope that helps. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Would anybody else like to share anything? If so, feel free to unmute yourself. I love the conversation. If not, we'll wrap it up. You tell me. Hi. I um, also immersed myself Miriam, uh, with a couple of books yep. uh, just recently through Amazon. And the one that I love the most is uh, The Internet of Money by Andreas 
Antonopoulos. It's so um, simple to read because it's really a synopsis of many of his talks and he's quite a good and funny person to listen to. So, and it's easy to um, read for you know, 10, 15, 30 minutes if you can put it down. <laughs> Mir Miriam, I have, um, I think a lot of my knowledge in this business, in the cryptocurrency yes. business, a lot of my knowledge has come from um, uh, watching all his videos. <laughs> and, um, you know, Andres, uh, I love the, I love this one thing he said, uh, and just to share it with you, Miriam, he said, digital currency is regulated. It's regulated. It's regulated by the algorithm. And he said, digital currency is uncorrupted. Unlike Wall Street, banks, corporate America, where there is massive corruption, digital currency is regulated and it's uncorrupted. So thank you for that, Miriam, because, yeah, I agree. Andres, he's a, he's a rip to watch. And interestingly, he keeps referring, the word he uses instead of cryptocurrency is Bitcoin, almost as if I recognize now that because they were the first, Right. He's using that word because it's 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 the latest date, so it's not like it was written. Um, maybe it was put together lately, 2015, yeah. 16. Do you find that uh, if you've ever heard any of his talks, that when he uses the word uh, Bitcoin, he's really referring to cryptocurrency? To cryptocurrency, yeah. yeah. It's funny yeah, yeah. Because I was a little bit uh, taken aback that he kept talking about using that word but i realize that now yeah that he's correct? passionately he's uh he he's an advocate uh for cryptocurrency <clears throat> and you know he's uh he he's one of the the fair hair boys that travel around the world and teaching people about it and so on i think he gets paid from uh, i don't know how he gets paid from them i don't know the semantics behind it uh but yeah when when he refers to bitcoin there are some direct things that he talks about with Bitcoin, but on the grand scope of things, it's cryptocurrency. Yes, I thought so. That. Thank you. Thank Wonderful. you. Anybody else? Anybody else want to uh, share before we, uh, before we close? Yes. Uh, good morning. This is Cynthia in Dallas. Hi, Cynthia. And last week, good morning, last week was my first time to, um, to find out about your morning training on Saturdays. Um, and I want to give you a message. I'm not able to uh, my computer um, had a little copy spill once, so I'm not. I can I can type a message in chat, but it won't enter. I didn't have a contact number to send you a text, but I have an absolute uh, crystal clear confirmation for you that the uh, gentleman you were speaking about being in his presence and he was looking directly at you, um, Jim Rohn. Oh yes, yes. Um, he was looking directly at you. And I had a, a very clear confirmation of that last Saturday morning. And I, I, I've been wanting to share that with you. Cynthia, you just gave me the chills. <laughs> yes, that's what it did for me last week. It was, it, I, my entire body got, you know, went that direction. And that only happens at certain times when it's absolute truth. And um, so there's your confirmation. And Cynthia, what's interesting is, uh, you need to know, Cynthia. I'm a very emotional man. <laughs> you know, like if I if my son would keep would have kept talking, I would have probably been in tears. And so that's uh, so you kind of took me there for a minute. But I was in. Uh, um, I remember clearly. I was in Dallas at a convention in the insurance industry, and I was in like the third or fourth row, and uh, and he was speaking. And um, so, uh, I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, so You're very welcome. Thank you. Okay, anybody else? Last one. Bobby. Yes, sir. Joe Spolino. Oh, God. Hold on, everybody. I'm going to be quick. I'm going to be real quick. Um, I, By the way, I, at your meeting at your house, you mentioned all those books, and I had purchased them all. They're sitting in a stack on my night table, and I, I, I am reading TNT. It's, it's, it's awesome. I Thank wanted you. to comment on a different book, um, The 10X Factor by Grant Cardone. Yeah. I read that when I was in when I was working with Vivint Solar, and I'm already a ramped up guy. So when I read it, I was having a hard time wrapping my mind around it because I'm already at about seven x. And I, but I was looking at when, when I would share from the book in front of the group, I'd say, you know what? Everybody's looking at me like, how can I do ten a week when everyone else is doing one or two or three a week? I say, because I'm working. 
You guys have taken off one or two or three days. Your activity is down. Your production is down. Therefore, your results are down. So, I mean, I love what you're doing with the, with the 10 a day deal. Man, if anybody takes that challenge on, you will absolutely see results. It's, it's the same thing as the 10x rule. You're, you're ramping up your effort. You will see tremendous results. That's Joe, it. You're the best. Let me, Joe, stay with me for a few minutes, guys. Just, yeah. This will be worth it, if you don't mind, just a few more minutes. Um, uh, Grant Cardone, he's, uh, he's an animal. <laughs> he's, uh, he's pretty intense. Uh, I do have it. I actually, uh, I bought that on Audible, so it's pretty unbelievable. But guys, let me, let, let, me, let me just help everybody with, uh, understand something. Everybody would love to enroll and sponsor and bring on Joe Spolino. Uh, and let me tell you why. Uh, and this is not to stroke you, Joe. Just just follow me here. Um, Joe calls me uh, at first, uh, and Joe and I probably speak on an average, average, on the low end five times a day, on the high end 10 times a day. And every we all want to bring on someone like Joe that is uh, that 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 wants it and is willing to work. And it is, it is just an absolute pleasure for me to work with Joe. I mean, you know, he, he, sometimes he'll call me like uh, three in the morning sometimes, but that's okay, and I don't mind. Um, you know, but the point is, uh, you know, when, when he, he's just unbelievable to work with because of the, hey, I need a three-way. And that's what we want, right? We want that. Hey, can you do a meeting at my house? Hey, I want a three-way call. Hey, we got to go meet this person. Boom, 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 boom. And it's just, that's the name of the game. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for anywhere from three to five Joe Spolinos. That's what everybody is looking for. So, Joe, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you sharing, and I appreciate everybody else sharing as well. I'm going to wrap up. I'm seven minutes over. Hey, guys, have a great weekend. And let's not complicate. If you want to be part of the challenge, you know, I'm going to do my 10 per day anyway, regardless. I'm going to do my 10 per day. Uh, so. Uh, you know, so just uh, if you want, you do your 10, make a little note in the Cryptocurrency Economic Group Monday. I did my 10. Hey, great. You know what? And it'll inspire everybody else to get on the, uh, the bandwagon. I'm doing them no matter what because I have to. Those are my daily goals. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thank you for everybody who shared. I love you. I appreciate you. We'll do this again next Saturday. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.